Hey everyone, welcome to Meta Horizon Worlds. Whether you're here to build your own virtual world or just explore, this is where creativity meets social VR. Today, I will guide you through the essentials. Things like how to use primitive assets, add music and effects, set up spawn points and environments, and even create mirror reflections for added realism. But before we dive in, I'm technology trainer and if you haven't yet, please, please make sure to subscribe to my channel at Technology Trainer and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss on things like tech, VR, and beyond. Now let's get started. Okay, the first thing you do is put on your MetaQuest headset and then open your Horizon Worlds. If it is your first time, make sure to follow the on-screen setup and create your own avatar. You also have the option of actually changing and making sure that your avatar looks good. And then once you're inside, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna land in what we call the Horizon Plaza. In the Horizon Plaza, you can meet other users and also explore featured worlds. Now to start building, the first thing you do is press the menu button on your right controller and then select create. This will open up to a new empty world, which is now ready for customization. You also have the option to start from scratch, but you can also start from pre-made assets or the legacy aspect. Since we opted to use the legacy asset, we now have the option of getting the pre-made and rich environments. Uh, and you have all these options here. I absolutely love Autumn Gathering, so I'm going to choose this one and change the name just to, you know, like make it my own. Um, let's try Aurora because I, I, I love Aurora. and then you can just click enter and then we will be transported to this uh, very rich pre-made environment. So the first thing that I need, you know, we want to set the mood and what is mood without music. So I'm just going to delete this music and then open the build tools to select the background music. You can choose from built-in tracks or you can even upload from your own. Now the next thing that I want to do is add a mirror and a door in this world so that I can look at myself and I could go back and forth to the Meta Horizon world without any problems. So with that, I will just click the build in the gizmos and click the mirror. And then I'll just add the mirror. Later, you can also use your camera in front of your avatar and connect it to the screen and take a photo of yourself and your new world.
Now the next thing that I want to change is the environment. So I will just go back to the build tools, go to the gizmos, and then go to environment and change it to whatever I want. You can choose between all these different uh, uh, environments here. So from daytime, you can have winter sky, but then again, you know, I've always loved Starfield. Now for special effects, I want to add special effects. So I would just go to the effects menu where you'll find other options like particle effects, lightning changes, and even interactive sounds. You can place them strategically to create a more immersive experience. Another asset that I want to add is spawn. Spawn is important because it will anchor where your players will first enter into your world. So we just go to the build settings and then click spawn. You can also have multiple spawn points by the way. Next, I want to add uh, text so that the play once the player enters into my world, the player knows what's the name of my world and sort of a way also to welcome them. I also want to have objects like this chair here, just clicking in it and then click the grip button. Uh, in addition, I would like to add that, you know, there's a lock button in case you your asset suddenly gets topsy-turvy. So lock actually locks your assets into place. There's also a back button in case you want to undo some of these changes. In Meta, code blocks are used, which are visual scripting tools that let you add logic and interactivity without traditional programming. So instead of you know writing code, you can just you know use this as a sort of drag drop system with this pre-built logic blocks. Think of it as a Lego pieces where each block represents action, condition, or function, and then it actually controls objects in your world. It is so much easier compared to, you know, using Unity.
Uh, I'm just gonna check on my spawn here for the time being, making sure that everything's good. Now you know how to build in the Meta Horizon world using assets, adding mirrors and effects, setting up spawn points, and changing environments. I always advise to keep on exploring and learning because Horizon World is more than just a place to build. It's a place where creativity, community, and technology come together. Whether you know, you're designing immersive environments, adding interactive components like code blocks, or simply just exploring what others have created, the possibilities are actually endless. With the right tools and the little imagination I, I see, you know, you can bring your ideas to ways that were never possible before. So if you find this guide helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more tech and VR content. I'll be sharing more tips, more tutorials, and creative ideas to help you mo make most of your you know, Meta Horizon world experience better. Please drop a comment below if you have any questions or ideas that you would like me to cover next time. And until then, keep building, keep exploring, and I will see you in the metaverse. Tech Trainer out.